All right, it's time to play with the uh, mind magic and manifestation. All right. Remind me, remind me throughout the lessons on manifestation to tell you some little guidelines and stories and anecdotes that have helped me a lot. But uh, and and you may find them useful. If not, disregard them. But um, I have used this particular technique. Um, or, or, or variations of it to manifest shit that is just plain impossible. So I make a joke, you know, difficult is easy, impossible just takes a little longer. <laughs> right? You guys know I've, I'm, I'm, I'm just coming into the home stretch. I'm finishing up uh, a year long uh, doctorate in Oriental Medicine at Pacific College of University. I just got, I, the last week, or just prior to, I, I flew here directly from Detroit. I was promoted to 10th degree black belt in the martial arts. I cycled all that shit. Okay. But the mo probably the most important thing to understand is um, two years, I, I, start, I tried to begin my doctorate program if I remember correctly, in 2016 or 2017. You know that when you apply to college, you have to submit this thing called transcripts. You may be familiar with that process. So I, I went about the process of getting my, my master's, you know, my graduate school transcripts for my master's degree. Uh, I did a couple of classes at Pasadena, Pasadena University, some physics classes, uh, I did a couple of, uh, anyway, I got all the, I got my, my transcripts from OSU, I went, I graduated with a degree in management from Oklahoma State University, in case anybody's alumni. Uh, anyway, I got all this stuff together, submitted it, and waited patiently. I get a call a week or so a week later, um, it says, we've been audit auditing your transcripts, and your, uh, I, I can't remember if it was six or nine, I think it was, I think it was, I think it was six, but I, I could be wrong. Uh, she goes, you're nine, you're nine credits short. Now, I thought I had more than enough because uh, I, you need a certain amount to get in, right? So I'm like, well, can you check it again? They, they, went, they checked it like five or six times. They said, I'm sorry, you're, you're six or nine credits short, uh, but you can get those credits at a local community college. You could just take classes like that. So you ever have those days, where, those years maybe? Where, where you have the best of intentions, the, 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 the path forward is directly there, and for whatever reason, every time you try, something happens, right? Well, that was my year. So for a solid year, every time I tried to get those extra credits so I could qualify to get in, I ran into some kind of roadblock. I signed up for two classes at Mira Mesa Community College where my daughter went. I couldn't figure out the internet, the internet interface. I was behind before I started. Right? I tried to clep classes when I was in undergraduate education. Okay? I clept two entire semesters. I tested out of two complete semesters of information. Okay? I knew how to do this shit. Couldn't get it done. Just could not manifest it. Right? Um, every time I tried to actually physically attend a college, I figured, well, I'll just go old school. Couldn't schedule it. I had to train. I had to, I had to see patients. Nothing. So, almost a solid year. I tried to do, to do this. And then I finally said, you know what? I started cycling. I said, something, that's my mantra now. Something will happen. When David says something will happen, something's going to happen. May, I think it was May I sub, of, of that year when I got this transcript submitted and they said, no, I didn't qualify. A year to the day I get a phone call from Pacific College of Oriental Medicine. We've just been going back over some of our old transcripts. You're nine credits over. Would you like to start the program? <laughs> Sign me up. Okay. Now, that's, that in it by itself is kind of cool. However, now, be, keep in mind, I've always been good at manifestation. Even before I learned image cycling, when I got my hands on image cycling, things got crazy. Um, if you ever meet my wife, ask her about her magic ring. 
right? Uh, this is a pre-image cycling story. My wife and I met in acupuncture school. We decided that uh, to move in together in, when, when, we, when I graduated in San Diego, we were together for uh, three or four years and then we were sitting in a hot tub one day. She goes, she goes to me, I don't know if I like being called your girlfriend. <laughs> and I said, well, what would you like to do about that? <laughs> well, I think we should, we should do something about that. I said, I think, would you like to get married? He goes, oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we decided, you know, we, this, is, this is just us. We literally ran to eloped to Vegas, right? But in the, you know, we plan to do it like the, the following month or whatever. And I said, well, what kind of wedding ring do you want? She described, my, if you've ever met my wife, she's 110 pounds soaking wet. She can hit a six foot, six foot 200 pound man in the stolar plexus. She feels it in his genitals, right? And she's, she's very particular. Okay, she's very metallic, right? You know, in, in her world, you know, um, like, I think I told you guys at Killer Influence, the, the day I got voted the number two NLP trainer in the world, I come rushing home filled with adrenaline, right? He goes, Honey, you're not going to believe this. I just got nominated and voted the number two NLP trainer in the world by globalgurus.org. She goes, that's great, honey. You forgot to make the bed. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, one, of the best, one of the highest compliments you can get from my wife is that's not too bad. Right? She makes me want to be a better person just to get over my neuroses. Anyway, so she's describing, she's describing this ring to me. It's white gold or platinum, and it has a wheat pattern on it, and the edges have to be like squared. You know how it's circular but squared? Like if you look at mine, it's very, it's, it, this is actually a high, this, this is another story, um, image cycling story. but. So she describes, the, the, and she's a size like four or six or some ridiculously small size, right? So I, of course, go on a mission. I start visiting every single jewelry store on the planet. Nobody's got this fucking ring, right? I'm, I mean, I spent, I spent literally weeks going to every jewelry store I could find. So I'm, I'm, I've, I've just gone to the last jewelry store I know about, I'm feeling completely defeated, and I say, okay, it's on you, God, something will happen, or more or less, something to that effect. I'm driving up the highway, and I'm passing Fountain, Val uh, Fountain, Fountain Hills Shopping, or Fashion Valley Shopping Center. It's a mall, right? And I think, I, I, think I had been there, but I, 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 for some reason, I just decided to stop in and see. I'm, and, I, and I'm walking down the, the aisle, and there's this little side aisle, and I get sucked down this aisle. And, and, and I go down two or three shops, and I look to my right, and there's this jewelry store that's going out of business. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, coincidence. Just like the Scott Salem story, coincidence, right? I go in, I walk up to the guy and say, look, I have a problem, need your help. I'm looking for a wedding ring that is, a, uh, that is white, gold, or platinum. It has a, um, a, a wheat pattern around the, the edges, and it has a, a flat square. I, I describe basically what I described to you. He gets this look on his face like, you dick. <laughs> and he's looking, and, I'm, and I'm, he's got this weird look on his face, and I'm like, okay, that's weird. He goes, he goes did somebody put you up to this? <laughs> is this a joke? And I'm like, what do you mean? He reaches into the freaking okay, he pulls out the ring. He says, somebody ordered this weeks ago and canceled it on me. Size, her size, the right metal, exact pattern, identical. I said, thank you. <laughs> right? Okay. But wait, there's more. My wife, uh, you guys, how many of you have met my daughters, Cassie and Sophia? Okay. Um, the first time people meet them, the first thing, oh, they're so cute, they're so adorable, then they have to take care of them. <laughs> Stephen thought they were cute. 
<laughs> she had, he had a heart attack within like 10 minutes because <laughs> they were out by the pool, right? Now, Kasi, when she was born, um, she had some issues. Uh, she had some problems with her hearing. She had some problems with uh, language and things like that. And we, we had some... We, we, we looked at, my wife was very, you know, if, you've ever, if you come from a Chinese background, you know how important education is to them. They're like fanatical. Like my wife is always training our daughters for something. Um, but we decided, we, we, we shopped around at all these schools. We finally decided on Santa Fe Montessori. And there was this one teacher there who was just amazing. She, he, she got through to Cassia. She got her focus she, and she tutored her every single day. About a year, two years, along, she, it, she was doing really well. The school is bought by another organization that belongs to a different Montessori certification. And all the teachers who didn't have that certification were let go, or were being let go. And the, one, the lady that was uh, tutoring Kasi um, was one of those, right? And so she, had to, she was going to have to leave, and Kasi wasn't going to get the help she needed. All of a sudden, my wife starts waging a one-woman war to, to, keep all, to keep that teacher at the school, this, that, and the other thing. She held meetings. She offered our clinic to, to help tutor, so the lady could tutor kids. I mean, she, she literally, her, her business suffered. She was so fanatical about getting this woman to stay. And, about a, and she, for almost a year. And in the meantime, of course, we're looking at other schools. We're doing our due diligence and things like that. And this lady, while she, she, cause she had to look for a job too, while all this was going on, the, the, the best offer she'd gotten was from a school in Singapore. So she wasn't even gonna be, if, this, if she took that job, she wasn't even gonna be local. And I just looked at my wife, and, and, about a, and, 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 and finally the decision came down that this lady had to go, this is how it was gonna be, yada, yada, yada. She's all defeated, and I looked at her, I said, look, honey, Something will happen. Now, this was, I think, June or July that we got this news. In the meantime, we had found uh, Mich a Mission Bay Montessori. So it's about 20, 30-minute drive from the house. And it was actually recommended by this teacher. I said, something will happen. End of August rolls around. My wife comes home and says, you'll never guess who just got hired by Mission Bay Montessori. <laughs> Right? This shit works. Okay? Um, final story, and then I'll, we'll, we'll go on to the thing. And we have witnesses to this one. I did a training several months ago in San Diego where we, uh, we had these cool bags, which some of you, by the way, qualify for. Where's the bag? It's disappeared. That's all right. Somebody stole it. Fuckers. All right. <laughs> we had these cool bags made up. But as is my one, I got the order in too late. <laughs> and so they're rushing around trying to fulfill the order. They give me a call while we're setting up for the, the training the next day. They say, look, those bags aren't going to be done until like noon tomorrow. And I'm like, okay, fine. And I'm thinking to myself, something will happen. Right? In the meantime, we went out. We, I, took, I had uh, Seth. I had Bernie. Jeff Snyder was there. Uh, who else was there? Anybody else? TJ, were you, with, were you with us? Yeah. So we're going to Home Depot to buy these lights because our, our training room was too dark. As we're, as we're walking there, or as we're driving there, I get a phone call. This is about noon. I got the earlier call in the morning. It says, your bags are done. Would you like to come get them? I was like, sure. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, again, we had been in the store for a while, right? But anyway, we got the call in the afternoon that the bags wouldn't be done. We went to get our lights. Like two hours later, or something like something ridiculous, we get a call that the bags are ready. Now, this is San Diego. It's a weekday. It's 4.30 in the afternoon when we get the call. Without traffic, it's a half an hour, 20 minutes, whatever. It's rush hour. They close at like 5.30, 6 o'clock. They close at 5. He knows all the details because he's <coughs> funny that way. Right? We get, I get the call. I say, okay, let's go get them. 
So I'm, I'm, I, I figure I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be fighting traffic, this, that, and the other thing. We get on the highway. It's a ghost town. There is nobody on the highway. Literally nobody on the highway. It's like a 20 or 30 minute drive. We got there in 10 minutes. We were in, got the bags, and back in the car before the official closing time. And I'm saying the whole way, this is fucking weird, man. <laughs> and they're going, shut up, you'll jinx it. <laughs> right? We go, we pick up the bags, we get back. We got back, but we got back before 5.30, didn't we? Yes, to the, to, there was no traffic on the way back either. It was a ghost town on the 805 and the 5. I was like, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> right? These are the things that will happen as you develop your, your, your energetic anatomy and, and stuff like that. These things will just start to happen. So, you got your lists? Do you have any questions about your lists? You, got, you guys had some questions during the break, right? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, Bernie, do you want to guide them through this process first or no? Or, through cycling? Yeah. Okay. Um, I saw Richard poking his head in, so I need to go talk to him. So if you want to go ahead and, where's the microphone? And then once, once you pass through the cycling a couple times, then we're going to practice changing water into wine. We're going to practice changing water into wine. Where's this microphone? Oh, here it is. Yeah. Bernie's really fascist about the image cycling list, so that's why I'm letting him do that. Bernie, Bernie. Hey, your microphone's dead. Uh, TJ might have to turn up the volume. No, no, I need the batteries. Oh, okay. So, um, I, thought, I thought I was emergency, but apparently it was just my phone. Right. Um, so here's what you're going to do. We're going we're gonna to go through, we're going to just kind of dry run the process. And then what we're going to do is we're going to let you experience the effect of image cycling on matter, which is kind of fun. Right? The important thing to remember when you're doing something like the Bankston system is that you're not doing something. I know that sounds weird. It's not you doing the healing. When we start playing with, you know, when we start doing the water exercise, which by the way is also a tradition in Reiki, in traditional Reiki, it's called Shui Jing, right, charging water. And of course science has finally backed up that this shit can happen. But it's a difference between abstractly understanding it and having the experience of it. So, it's important to remember that when you're cycling, focus on having as much fun with the cycling as humanly possible. Nothing else matters. You're not doing anything to the client or the subject. You're not doing anything to the water you're holding. They're two parallel but separate processes. Understand that? It's important because as much as I know that, I find myself trying to cycle faster to charge the water faster. You understand? They're different, they're, they're separate, right? It's like gunning the engine at full speed, but the, but the car's up on blocks, so the wheels aren't going anywhere, <laughs> right? It's, it's, it, they're just two separate things, right? And that's why I want, I want to, I'm going to, it's something you need to keep in mind because one of the hardest things that we have as manifestors or, or burgeoning wizards or whatever is to learn to allow to get out of your own way right but the more we focus we just set the intention and we let our processes run and have as much fun with it as we can hey you're gonna have this massive endorphin rush your brain is gonna become increasingly neuroplastic and all the good things that that yeah you just got a shock didn't you yeah. and it's a little chill right <laughs> He's like, Ooh, oh shit, download. All right. All right. So do you have your lists? Okay, go get ahead, get out your lists. We're going to do this in a pretty interesting way. We're going to do it in increments of five. So the first time we cycle, we're going to do just five. 
just so you get the process. Then as you become more comfortable with the process, and I may let Bernie do this anyway, just because I, I don't want to steal his thunder. All right. um, we're going to do 10. Then we're going to do 15. Then you're going to do all 20. Right? If you only have five, you just keep doing the five you have. Right? When I, when I train this in a mastermind, people don't have time to do 20 things in a, in, in a four hour training or whatever. If you only have, you do as many as you have, right? But I usually do them in sets of five. Now, there will be a couple of things you'll experience. I'll just, pre, I'll just front load you immediately. First and foremost, the first thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna cycle them. You're gonna keep cycling and faster and faster and faster. You're gonna reach a point where you start to, you can't track it anymore. That's fine. That's, you're not supposed, if, you're, if you can consciously track every single image that you're cycling, you're not doing it fast enough. You understand? It's also going to feel, as you, as you approach that point, it's going to feel like there's this little roof that you keep hitting. Right? That's the membrane, the vibrational membrane that you want to pass through. It's, it's a kind of, it, the, the analogy I use is like, you know in those movies when they're at sublight speed and they go into hyperspace? That's how I view it. It's like you're, you're spinning, you're spinning, and all of a sudden, you break that, that vibrational barrier between you and the non-local, or in, between regular space and hyperspace, and now all of a sudden you, you feel it. Every now and then you get a flash of something, but you're like, <laughs> and you'll feel that way, right? Revel in it. <laughs> it's just one of those days. Right? So let me grab my stool. If I, can. I have a gong. Yeah. Now, I usually use a sound effect to kind of help you and train, but at some point, I'll be, I'll be needing you to go faster than I, can, than I can gong. So you'll just hear me stop, and I'll just say faster, 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 faster. Okay? And just pretend you're going faster, 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 faster. So go ahead, go ahead and close your eyes. Yep. And if you, uh, actually open your eyes. Look at the first five on your list just to make sure you know what they are. And by the way, you don't have to do five. If you want to do ten, go ahead. You can do whatever you remember, but five is usually pretty manageable for most people. It's good for training. Okay? Take a few minutes and just really get the feeling, get the vibe of your list. Imagine what it'll be like to have those things. in the present time. When you're ready, go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Let that breath out. Deeper and deeper with every breath you take and every beat of your heart. Just let go. Now, if you could imagine that divine energy you played with yesterday floating above your head, you can breathe that energy through your entire being. Let it fill you up like water fills up a bottle, like fluid fills up a test tube like hot air or helium fills up a balloon. Just anchor it in so fully, so completely. No force in the universe can turn that shit off or take it away. Not even you. And when you know you've got that, test it. Try to turn it off. Try to take it away. Notice what happens instead. And from that space, move to the very center of the universe that you are and bring up your first image. Revel in it. Enjoy it. Feel it become a command to all that is you, to the universe that you reside in at the center of. And then bring up your second image. And do the same thing. Feel what it's like to have it. And bring up your third image. and your fourth, and your fifth, and now bring up image one, image two, image three, image four, image five, image six, or five, or one rather, one. Two, two, three, three four, four, five, six, one, two, one, two, two three, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Faster.
faster. Faster. Cycle faster. Double it. Cycle faster. And faster. And faster. Keep cycling. Over and over and over again. Double it. Go even faster. Hyper speed. Faster, 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 faster. 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 And faster still. Faster, 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 faster. And faster. 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 And even fa double it. Double it again. Keep doubling it over and over and over again. Faster. 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 Double it. Too slow. Faster. Even faster. Faster. Keep it going. Faster. Are you having fun yet? Faster. Make it juicy. Faster. Get into it. Faster. That's right. Faster, 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 faster. Faster. Ten more seconds. Faster. Go for the gold. Super hyperdrive. Go plaid. Faster. And allow yourself to come back. When you're completely grounded back in your body, go ahead and open your eyes. Good. I know, it's fun, isn't it? Now, now you've got the basic idea, right? Now you can add the next five on your list as we do this. But since you guys are really fast on this subject anyway, if we could have, um, where are my, help, my handlers? Okay, can we hand two bottles of water to each person? Do not drink them. I've had, I've had to say that. First time, the first time, this, half the time, a good chunk of them, you set the bottle front of them. No! It's the wrong bottle. All right. And bring me two, please, as well. I'm thirsty.
Yes, sir. Any way that works for you. There's no wrong way to do it. We should have enough water for everyone. If not, I have half a case in my room you can use. All right, so once you've got your water, First thing you want to do is you want to take one bottle and mark it either as your control or as your experiment and place it either as far away from you as you can or under your seat or whatever. Uh, well, you're going to hold the, 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 your experiment bottle you're going to hold in your left hand. There's no right or wrong way to mark it, just so you know which is which. Okay. Bankston predominantly comes, uh, bank, the Bankston's energy, Bankston's frequencies generally emit themselves through the left hand. It's like I said, it's the, the anathema of most of what we do. It's really weird, right? But it actually kind of makes sense in a certain way. Because the left side, the left side is always self. It's, inter it's, a, it's the same in handwriting analysis. If you look at peop how people slants or where some of their, their, their uh, traits in their handwriting go, anytime, like for example, in handwriting analysis, we have this thing called the dagger points. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm gonna have to write it on the thing here. Um, uh, maybe not, okay. okay. Um, you remember we talked about T-bars the other day, right? One of the interesting things about the human nervous system is, is that um, I almost used a marker on my fucking thing. I really have to need a vacation. <laughs> I'll have to cycle that shit. Yeah. I don't know if I want one in Cyprus, but it's, the real estate's cheap. <laughs> All right, so let's say that, um, like, there's a trait called sarcasm in, in, uh, in Henry Mouse, and it's, and it's defined by the T-bar. If, I don't know if I can do it here, if there's a little, like, trailing dagger point to the right, that indicates sarcastic towards others. Right? If it goes to the left from the T-bar, that indicates sarcastic to self. And what that means is that when shit goes wrong, who do you beat up? Do you beat up the people around you or do you beat up yourself? Right? So a lot of times these, these, little, these little leftward ending traits, they indicate an orientation to self. Uh, on the slants in your handwriting, the more right leaning it is, the more emotionally expressive you are. The more left-leaning, the more self-contained or repressed you are, right? And we look at face reading. The left side is our what persona? Private. The right side is our... You see the correlation, right? Bankston is all... The, the image cycling system is all about our, what we want for ourselves. And the energy comes out the left hand. Coincidence? Maybe. Correlation is not causation, I get that, but there might be a correspondence there. You know what I mean? Don't we call black magic the left-hand path? 
because it's usually pretty fucking selfish, isn't it? Right? To the exclusion of anybody else, right? But that's really just an arbitrary distinction, right? Like I said, good and evil, they're human concepts, right? But remember, you live amongst humans, so it's important. <laughs> Be on the right side, right? Okay, so here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to look at your second, your, your second set of five on your, on your sheet. And I want you to just kind of get a good feel for them, like you did the first five, right? Just really take a moment and imagine, step into that movie. Make it big as a drive-in movie theater screen, crystal clear like an IMAX. Turn up the sounds, the taste, the smells, the feeling. Best movie ever. Yeah. And then do number seven. Or the, you know, just do that for each of your next five. Mm -hmm. Once you've got that, you go ahead and just cl uh, close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Breathe in your divine bridging connection energy. And <laughs> and begin to imagine image one. Oh, actually, actually sorry, sorry, my bad. bad. Take, Take one of those bottles, bottles, hold it in your left hand. And, and do it comfortably, because you're gonna be holding it for a little while. <laughs> okay, yeah, left, left hand, hand only. only. Close your eyes, go ahead, bring in your energy. Image one. Image two. Image three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, I'm sorry, not nine, yeah, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. Faster. Double it. Faster. And faster. And faster still. Double the spin. Double the speed. Faster. Faster. Speed it up. Make it even faster. Get the funky. I feel faster now. That's right. Faster. Speed it up. Faster, 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 faster. Make those images juicy. Faster. Faster. And faster still. And then double it again. Faster. Faster, 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 faster. Faster. And faster. And faster. Faster, 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 faster. Double it. Faster. As the late Robin Williams used to say in one of his movies, are you horny to win? Faster. Faster. Faster! Any other feelings Faster. other than the positive ones come up? Use them for fuel! Faster! Faster. Even faster! Faster, Faster still! If you're not smiling, it's not juicy enough, faster. Faster. 
Speed it up. Faster. And even faster. Faster. Faster still. Two minutes to go. Faster. Some of you are really getting into it. Some of you, I can barely see anything. Faster! Make it orgasmic. Faster! Faster! There we go. Almost, that's better. Faster! Faster! Doing good. Speed, Speed it up. It up. Faster. 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 Come on, faster and faster. You can do it. Come on, faster. There we go. Faster. 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 I can't hear you. Faster. Almost there. Faster! Don't quit on me now. Faster, 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 faster. Faster still. Double it. And allow your eyes to open. Come on back. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> no, that's probably not. That's not exactly what I meant. No, I said make it orgasmic. I didn't say have an orgasm. Yes. You got wet? I really need to watch what I say sometimes. Yes. She's got this look on her face like, I just have to ask. You're good? I'm good. I'm good. Smoke comes out of her head. Anybody have a question about this so far? Right. You don't. You don't have to believe it. You just got to do it. Yes, Paul. How long are we doing this for? As long as I want. All right. This is for... <laughs> huh? For when we... you, you do it as long as you, you, you feel like you want to do it. There's no, there's no set time. You could, you, could, you could image cycle effectively in a few seconds. You could image cycle effectively. It might take an hour. That's, that's the best part is, you know, it, again, there's no hard and fast rule. So do you just set an intention for that to be running in your mind in the background and just Eventually, let it Eventually, if you do it, it enough, it'll happen automatically. A cool place to image cycle is when you're stuck in traffic. Yep. Because it'll help you dissipate that energy. I do it while I'm driving. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> It'll get to a point where it's, you, like, you check in and it's running in the background. You can just feel it. 
Okay, when we were doing that, I was like kind of getting an image of like a ball of light, mm -hmm. like going really fast. Like, what do I do with that? Do just nothing. Suck it in, just or keep, just keep, push it out, or just nothing? keep cycling. If you see a ball of light, enjoy the ball of light. Okay. Yeah. However, your body's going to interpret this this process in its own way. There's no need for you to do anything other than what I, you were tasked to do. I find it as I sped up that every nerve, every fire, my cells started like getting electric fire. Yep. Fire, and I still feel that power in mm -hmm. all those cells. Yeah, it'll just get stronger. Kind of cool, huh? This one was having a good old, these three over here, give them a cold shower or something, I don't know. But. I felt like my eyes were flickering. They were, around. they were going, like, ah! <laughs> and then it, over here, I had like some kind of a, I don't know, sensation like it was circling inside of me. Mm -hmm. Is it normal? What's abnormal? I don't know. <laughs> You're in Planet David. There's no such thing. <laughs> this one, so we hear the word cracking up. So I don't know what they were saying. <laughs> well, for me, I was still cycling, right? Like moving them, moving them, spinning them. And I said, shit, this is too hard. Let's get Zeus. Grab the horses from the head and spin them around, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> She's loosening out. She said, uh, Vula sent me a, a little statue of, of Neptune because Zeus was taken. <laughs> <laughs> Zeus is hers. I get Neptune. All right, look at your second, your second set of five on your list. Keep, the, keep, your, keep your bottle in your left hand. Okay? Look at your second set. Okay. Or your third set, rather. And again, if you want to do all, if you want to go for the full Monty and do all 20 with this pass, you can, but we're working up to, you know, I'm, I'm doing it progressively. Hmm? Yeah. All right, go ahead and again, once again, just kind of create that movie for yourself for each of those things. Step into it, live it, get a you know, really root the, the desire and the experience of having it into your head so that every time you, you cycle through the keyword or the symbol or whatever it is, you're fully connected to all of it, okay? And when you're ready to begin, you just close your eyes and hold the bottle in your left hand. And once again, let's go ahead and bring up image one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, Faster. Faster. Speed it up. Faster. Faster and faster. Double it again. Double the speed. Double the force. Double the magnitude. 
keep doubling it over and over and over again until it takes on a life of its own. Faster. Faster still. Double it. Double it again. Double it again. Hyperspeed. Welcome to Nirvana. Speed it up. Faster. How bad do you want it? What would we like to have it? Faster. Faster. Faster still. Faster. 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 Even faster. Speed up those puppies. Faster. Faster still. Faster. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Faster. How good can you feel? Faster. What's it like to have all those cool things? Faster. Faster, faster, faster. Faster. That's right. Faster. I'm talking to you. Faster. Faster. Even faster. Double it. Come on, how much you want it? Faster! Faster! Enjoy it. Faster! And faster still. Cut loose. No holds barred. Spin it to win it. Two minutes. Faster. And faster. Faster, 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 faster. That's right. Faster. Faster. Even faster. 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 And faster. That's right. Faster. Let it all flow. One minute. Faster. Faster. That's right. Faster. Come on. You can go faster than that. Faster. One minute. Go for the gold, baby. Platinum, gold. Treasures abound. Almost there. Faster. Come on.
faster and faster. Almost there. Faster! Faster! Twenty seconds. Faster! Come on! Show me what you got. Little mushroom cloud rising over the Orleans. Faster! And allow yourself to come on back. So, just for fun, go ahead and take the, uh, the water bottle that you, the other one, not the one you've been holding, but the other one. Go ahead and crack that open. Take a drink. Or pour it into a cup if you want to compare each other's. So that's what normal water tastes like. Control water, like we like to call it. And then when you're ready, take a swig, after you've cleansed your palate, take a swig of the water you've been holding. And again, you know, compensate for the, the warmth from being from holding it. Notice if it's notice what's different, if anything. This is the giggle group over here. I was holding water before. <laughs> Hold on. Say that again? Who is it? You? Not only does the bottle of water taste different, but the bottle is flimsier. How about that? Interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I've never had anybody notice that before, but that's awesome. Anybody else? Go ahead, Tony. It tastes almost metally. Almost metallic? Yeah. What's the texture like? Yeah. Some people don't like the taste of their own. No. How about these? Huh? It tastes even worse than before. Oh, wow. How about you? This one tastes like Evian now. Like Evian? Excellent. Smoother. Smoother and sweeter, smoother and sweeter, right? By the way, th that change probably happened within the first like five to six minutes of, of doing it. We just did a little bit longer just to make sure. Anybody else notice anything? Very soft. Right. Now, if you, if you guys are brave and you want to sample each other's waters, you know, if you don't mind sharing a few cooties. Notice? And again, this is what I like you to notice. Notice how one person's charged water may or may, may be the same or different than your charged water. You each, have, you each filter things through your own lenses. So the vibrational signatures that you have and the frequencies are going to be interesting. My, I had a girlfriend who hated the taste of her own energized water. She loved mine, though. She had good taste. Had a, had a question, not a comment. Uh -huh. The taste is different. The texture is different. Mm -hmm. Are we changing the physical properties of this also? Like wood water tension? According to things? Bill, what you're doing is you're actually changing the molecular bonding angle of the water itself. So it's actually even more assimilable by your body. So water, like water tension and stuff would be different mm -hmm. between the two bottles too? Yep. Cool, thank you. Is there a what? Your left arm? Yeah. Welcome to Bankston, buddy. <laughs> how many of you? How many of you notice your left arm might feel a little uh, swollen or achy? Or <laughs> welcome to Bankston. Yeah. Anybody else? Um, well, we did three sets, 
So I think the first time we did it for like two and a half minutes. And uh, we averaged, I, I tried to keep it around five minutes when every time I added a five, uh, an extra five, I just did five minutes. But I've done, I've, I've had significant changes in as little as three minutes of just doing it, right? I just wanted to, I wanted to make sure you guys, I wanted to at least try and get through most of your list and really kind of hardwire in that process. You can do this for as long or as little as you, as you want. Your neurology will get better at what it does more often, right? Now, there's a couple of benefits to this. A, that water holds a really strong, powerful charge. So if you need to heal, drink it. You can, you can also use your image cycling to program the water for a specific outcome. That's called Eucharistic healing or Eucharistic programming. Huh? You image cycle and, and have an intention of that water to be programmed for those outcomes. And then you drink the water or you give it to somebody who needs healing. It's a great way to do self work. Holy water. Yeah. Right? A um, couple of other things. Image cycling will take any emotion as fuel. So let's say that you ha you're, you're pissed off or you're angry, you're stuck in traffic and you're just really just pissed. You can, you can funnel that energy into your cycle and it'll burn it up and use it to manifest your shit. <coughs> kind of fun. So there's no um, side effects for the... You, you can use negative energy. Uh -huh. <laughs> you're, you're trans it's a, because you're speeding up the vibration of the energy, it's an alchemical process that transmutes a base element to a higher element. It's the speed aspect that changes things. I actually had a couple of negative things pop up. It was uh -huh. like mostly my girlfriend complaining about the attention that I was getting from these images. Uh -huh. But you had already, like, right before that came up, you told me, like, just use that negative stuff. So yep. I did. Perfect. Excellent. Give it to Jessica. <laughs> I was just wondering, I found that uh, there were a Is few... Is it on? Yes. The, okay. Am I not? Yeah. Speak properly. Sorry, inner Italian. Yeah. Okay, I found that a couple of the things that I had written down kind of got lost in the process, mm -hmm. but were replaced by different things. That's fine. Okay, yeah. so it just kind of... Your unconscious mind knows best okay. sometimes, right? Okay. Except when it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Any other, other ahas, epiphanies, OMG moments? Okay, they're coming up now. Okay, when I was spinning, every time I breathe, I feel like one image will come to me and I will breathe it through my nose. Perfect. And I feel really good when I was doing that. Good, excellent. Pass it to Casey. So my third option was have homes in more than one country and that kind of like bit me in the ass because mm -hmm. I ended up like just traveling around the world. Tip it up. I ended up like... Uh, Every time it w I would hit the house, it would be somewhere else. Oh. And t on two occasions, I looked at the calendar on the wall. Mm -hmm. So she told me to write the dates down, but I didn't see the day. That's all right. You can go back. All right. Anybody else? You have the big G. Um, yeah, when I was cycling, the, the, uh, the, order, the order of things were jumbling up. Oh, hell yeah. And some things were just... Some things were just expanded and jumping right yep. up into my face. Yep. Was, uh, I don't know what's going to expand. I, I don't know what's going to manifest first. Uh, and you shouldn't care. Seriously, once, once you've got, just give it to the universe and just do what you would normally do if you hadn't done the cycling. Just take the appropriate actions and everything will just line up. Shit will come out of left field. And, and again, avoid this. Okay, Captain Stubborn here. Right? Back when I, I guess I, I told you, I've, I've, been, I've been a good manifester most of my life for good and bad. When you have that ability and you don't know how to, the parameters of it, it's like a superpower running amok, right? You have these story, all these origin stories, these superheroes, when they first get their powers, they're just fucking them up left and right, right? Well, welcome to superhero school, right? Um, back when I found my first karate school in Coral Springs, Florida, I set an intention that every month, I would make X amount of dollars, right? I assumed it would be from my karate school. Every month I made X amount of dollars, but it almost never came from where I expected it. And I, and I considered myself a failure because it wasn't coming from the school. 
it was coming from everywhere else. You understand? So, this is, and then we, how many people were around when I talked about the five characteristics of lucky people? And I said, lucky people, A, in addition to identifying themselves as being lucky, are also specifically vague. Right? They set an intention and a direction and leave the details up to the universe. Whereas people who cut themselves off from serendipitous events have to work either as hard as everybody else or sometimes harder, are very specific, very narrow in how they want that to manifest, when they want it to manifest, and it's that rigidity many times that actually slows them down. Right? This is one of those times where you're, you're learning how to generate massive amounts of luck. But is it luck? Because it's not random. But it is. In other words, you're going to set an intention, the universe is going to fill the order, but how it fills the order may come completely from an unexpected source. And you need to be open and aware of that. It's non-local. I mean, it's crazy. I, you know, back when I applied for hypnothoughts, Right? They said every presenter gets this many slots. Everybody's the same. I said, okay. <laughs> Something will happen. I've taught more breakouts in hypnothoughts than any other presenter. Right? Rooms mysteriously, miraculously open. And I filled them, more or less intentionally. But, but my point is, is that you have now, you've always had the potential inside of you to do amazing things. It's just part and parcel. But now you have a mechanism that can allow you to express and create and manifest that. So please, use your God, your God-like abilities now with some wisdom, some respect, and understand something, two things. A, you're going to fuck it up. You're going to manifest something that you didn't, the, the, the reality of it isn't what you expected, you're not stuck. You're going to want somebody to do something, and you're going to cycle it, and they're going to do it, and then they're going to fuck it up somehow. They're going to find some way to screw it up. It's okay. Mistakes are okay on the path of power. That's what we call wisdom when we learn from them. You understand? Everything's allowed, but cause and effect, right? We live in very much a cause and effect universe. So take some time to think about what you want and then go for it right and be okay with how it manifests because you can always modify yes how do you avoid what I call a monkey paw effect uh, this old couple got a monkey paw and it granted them three wishes and they wished for a um, hundred thousand dollars and the very next day their son was killed in an automobile accident mm -hmm. TJ talked about that yesterday Think about what you want and make sure that you install parameters that it only happens in a positive, beneficial way. That's as specific as I would get, right? And avoid, I'm not saying you can't do this, but avoid just throwing negative shit at people or wishing harmful shit on people. That's going to happen to them anyway. As a natural byproduct of becoming more identified with source, any negativity, either intentional or unintentional, that people throw at you, a, when, he, when you encounter it, it'll still hurt, but more often than not, those situations will rebound on the people throwing it at you. It's a natural byproduct of the processes that you're doing. But if you do need to, to hand out a can of cosmic whoop-ass, you kind of know how to do it. You know what I mean? So don't be afraid to protect yourself if, if that's what you feel is necessary, but you're going to find as you become more and more identified with source, there's nothing that can, hurt, that, that, that can really hurt you unless you allow it. Does that make sense? So you're, you're saying trust in the goodness of the universe. Trust in the goodness of you. All right. Because <laughs> you are the universe, whether you realize it or not. Right? I'm, I'm, I'm on the journey just like everybody else. What's that? Yeah, well, that's why we started with that, right? Because when you go to that space and you manifest from that oneness as creator, as divinity, how can it not happen? By the way, that's a, that's a, David, that's a David ad. Bill doesn't do that. Right? But I'm just saying... 
If you could do something down here at the, at the assembly line level, or do something here at the CEO level, well, maybe you get a little bit more leverage that way, right? So let's go ahead and take a 15-minute break. We're going to come back and learn more stuff.